The silverware drawer is where you'll find your happy relationship. Hey, baby, want a spoon with me? You want a fork in the silverware drawer? Oh, got to be careful how I ask that, or it might be knives out. And it's time for another unbuckled, bumpy ride with your guide, the Stark Raving Lunatic himself. I'm Jim. Let's jump right in again. Welcome to my podcast based on my brand new book, available on Amazon, Live Life Lean, L-E-A-N. It's a year-long guide to gratitude and our daily grind. The book that combines some timeless wisdom from a whole lot of the world's wiser people with the reflections, reactions, and wisecracks of the guide's author, me. And it guides you, the reader, through the simplest system for a happy, healthy, authentic, and genuinely grateful everyday experience. I urge you to get the book. Of course I do. I wrote it. It's either at Amazon or at my website, ampurage.com. A-M-M-P-U-R-A-G-E. But even without it, let's make next week better than last, our next year better than the past, and get started now with today's episode of... The subject of silverware is not a flat one, and the lessons of the silverware drawer are not easily open and shut. But they are definitely something that I do give a fork about. Yeah, pull up a chair, there's going to be a dose of do's and don'ts in here about cutlery and what cuts the mustard or what just cuts the cheese in relationships. And thankfully, we have a really hip psychiatrist to thank for the lesson that actually may help your relationships. It actually may have saved our marriage. Definitely helped save me from slicing my fingers off many a time. Are you ready? So, in most homes, in most kitchens, dare I say, in America, over 90% of kitchens, I would dare say, have this drawer. It's a specific drawer. And inside that drawer is a system of, shall we say, dividers. Or within, between these dividers, what we refer to as flatware or silverware. And this is the silverware drawer. You got one? Ever seen one? Okay, so you know what I'm talking about here. Now inside that drawer, that silverware drawer, are those dividers, those segmented sections, partitioned places for, well, for what? Why are they there? What purpose do they perform? Well, that's easy, right? They're there to keep the forks and knives and spoons where they belong. Forks with forks, usually, you know, long with long and short with short, kind of a silverware segregation system. Let's not take it any further than that and piss people off here. What we're talking here is what we use to set places, not races. So place setting stuff, segregated by other types that look like that type. Forks with forks, knives with knives, spoons spooning other spoons. That's what the drawer is for, right? Yeah, tight. But not where I live. I started to say, not in my house, but then I remembered it's not my house. It's our house. Our home. And that's the moral behind our story here. Silverware drawers. Apparently, they're not just for organization anymore. See, if I came to your house and asked you to show me your birth certificate, would you know where to find it? Your social security card? <laughs> Don't ask me. It's in the house somewhere, so technically it's not lost or missing. It's just playing hide-and-seek right now. What about a safety pin? Your spare checks for your checkbook. The receipt for your laptop and warranty. How about your 2014 tax returns? See, regardless of how many or how few of these that you could instantly produce without too much digging and rooting around, I bet that if I were to ask you for a fork, you would know exactly where to go get one. Why? Well, because the system for organizing your silverware is supposed to demonstrate your organizing principles. Like these. First, forks are supposed to be kept with forks. Next, forks are supposed to have a single and consistent home or space. Next, forks are to be put back right there 
in that space after being used and, of course, washed. And finally, and everyone in the household is in agreement about it. Whoops! Say that again? That part how everyone agrees where the forks, spoons, and knives reside? <laughs> well, not in our house. And for years it brought frustration and fights and tears. Yeah, tears. Because the difference between my wife and myself on the spoon spooning other spoon subject started spats, and then frustrating words were fired off, spit out, fights were started, wars began. And all because she just threw all the forks, knives, and spoons into the drawer willy-nilly and willy wonk it out of whack, spoons forking each other with the perverted little perforated knives cutting in on the dance. There was no fork file, no spoon segment, and no nook for the knives. They all just got thrown in, in whatever way they came out of the dishwasher. Yeah, I know, don't get me started on right and wrong ways to load a damn dishwasher here, Martha Stewart. Just stow it, you're missing the story here. See, my wife and I were vastly different here. I like them one way, she liked them another. I like knowing when my fingertips were at risk from a sharp knife tip. And she, well, she never seemed to care. I liked what I saw was the efficiency of knowing exactly where a fork was when I felt my way around for it in the dark reality of a midnight munchy march. And she saw no advantage to segregating the silverware. Enter the psychiatrist. Nope. We didn't hire one, we were friends with one. And in just having basic discourse, the subject came up. And the psychiatrist chose to ask me. Me. Me, the person who liked an organized silverware drawer, asked me what was the why behind it mattering to me. I said, well, it's more efficient. It's more efficient to quickly get what you want right when you want it. And it's safer than fingering through forks to be surprised by a steak knife. I said back to him, get the point? Well, I deserved what I got served next. He said, are you sure? How do you know it's faster? Has anyone ever done a time study on which takes more or less time, taking the time to specifically place each piece in the drawer versus the time it takes to search for a piece when you need it? Hmm? Oh, crap. I knew I'd forgotten something. I forgot to bring my time motion study data to this debate. And that was because... It doesn't exist. He was right. And then the dagger was driven in like a butter knife in between my big spoons. He said, and besides, it's half her silverware too. And with that, I realized I didn't want to lose half of my, I mean half of our silverware. Or half of my, I mean half of our home. Or have to lose her for the rest of all of my life. It's half her silverware, too. And it's only forks and knives here. And ever since, i got to tell you, our spooning has expanded and improved. Thanks, Doc. You taught me, taught us, the meaning to a happier relationship can be kept safely tucked or tossed inside of our silverware drawer. And now, more words of wisdom to wow your socks off from the Live Life Lean Guide itself. Entry number 28. It is not the strongest species that survive, nor the most intelligent, but the most responsive to change. Charles Darwin. And the guide's point of view on this? So, I guess the last living creature on Earth won't be the cockroach after all, but instead, the chameleon? Using the Live Life Lane Guided System, what do you think about this? What have you learned recently that was new? What have you earned that wasn't just handed to you? Where have you added to the world that wasn't just about you? I'll be grateful for all this. Reflect on it, respect, and navigate somewhere next. Thank you for listening. I hope you're enjoying your copy of the Live Life Lean, L-E-A-N guide. Enjoying it almost as much as I did creating it. And if you don't have a copy yet, go on over to Ampurage.com or Amazon and get started today experiencing the amazing power of knowing every day is literally yours to be grateful about. And you need never feel unfulfilled again. I'm Jim Hall. And until next time, good health, God bless. And now, go get a little dirty learning something new. Earning what's not given to you. Adding to this crazy world that we share. And navigating your way to something new. 
and next.